Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. It's the weekend here. Beautiful weekend. Spring's right around the corner. And we've got some Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen today. I'm Lucky, and welcome back to the channel. Game on. Where? Usual. I'm just gaming on. Now, we're messing around in Bitter Black Isle last episode. <clears throat> just kind of exploring and fighting stuff. We're going to keep going with that and see how deep we can go. Then we'll get back to the main quest. Because there's some interesting stuff in here. The first time we ran through here, we were extremely low level and we were just trying to grab some items and some <clears throat> end of game goodies, and we did. Now this is our second trip back. I want to try to get a little bit deeper and see what's up in here. Roots. That's such a depth. I'm out of mushrooms. The hell? I'm out of mushrooms and I'm out of liquid vim? No, I've got a little bit. <coughs> I'm only gonna use this one. This far stronger than a common goblin. A treasure, perhaps. <laughs> In the room back there. I see it on the map. What's this? Novice's coat. We can wear it. It's not that good though. Matches our cape. A coat worn by Neo. Fight? Mages? I don't know what that is. It's Spartan appearance, meant to encourage students to concentrate on their magical studies. Mm, no distracting. Okay. So it focuses your magic ability, I guess? Well, it's not all crowded up in here. I'll put my lantern on so we can see a little better. Be light. Let's have a look. Gosh, they always break the crates I'm trying to use, and they're trying to steal my stuff again. Get out of there. Keep a firm hand with these troops. Does someone live here? Whoa. It's nasty. Okay. Well, that must open somehow. Chainmail bracers. Sleeves stitched from tightly woven cloth designed for those wielding a bow. That's us, but they're not as good as what we have. You guys, take these little spiders out. Come on. What's that? Uh, what is it? So that's where we came. Let's go up here. Gossip's mass. All right. <clears throat> A storehouse of some sort, perhaps. Whoa, macabre sculpture. What's that? Key item. 
A haunting graven image infused with the sinister spirit of its creator. Quest item. Okay. Um. So whenever that sound goes off, guys, that means you've got an important item or a quest item. Da -da -da. Oh, can we make the jump? Nice. Oh, I love that double jump. I don't think I'll ever not love that double jump. Hmm. Where are we? Okay, this is the starting point. There were wolves here that we defeated. So let's get on by this again. What's that? What's down there? Ooh, we can jump there, but it looks a bit, a bit rough. Oof. Oof. Ow. And weren't we just here? Yeah, this is where those goblins were. And so let's go back to the inner sanctum area over here, and we'll go down to the next level. This is kind of like the Chalice Dungeons, I feel like, in Bloodborne. Because it just seems like it keeps going and going and going, and each level gets a little bit harder. A mask printed with the... F a mask painted with a frightening image of open jaws, meant to strike fear into one's foes. Interesting. Well... We're not too fearful, are we? It's just like it should open or something. Da 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 da, heal stamina, come on. I, I had a harp smoke juice, didn't I? Yeah, got two of them. So I have a little bit of stamina. I don't know if I went up here last time, but there's a ton of stuff up here, just so you guys know. Take a right and come up these stones. You don't need double jump or anything to come up here and do this. There's a nice looking chest. What we have here, worker's gloves. Oof, they're terrible. Sturdy leather gloves stitched well for the routine labors of everyday life. No, thank you. We will never use those. Rift fragment. Okay, more sculptures up here. I want to find more of those sculptures. The deeper we go, the keener I sense a malice or summit like it. She senses a malice down below. Well, some evil spirits, I'm sure. Let's go screw with them. Uh, now we've been this far before. This is where our buddy here is hanging out. This place is full to the gills with scraps and materials unseen in the world I knew outside. Goodies. An alchemist's paradise, this. The smithy's work I do is a product of endless hours, trial and error, but it's time I don't begrudge. My little obsession's half the reason for my wanderings. Could be. The other half is running into strange ones like you. Now, will you have a look? I don't think I can rarefy anything yet. Yeah. Now, will you well. have a look? a little bit there. Now, will you have a look? What will it be? Let's see if I got any new skills here. Pretty sure it's the same old stuff. I'm maxed out. Great sacrifice. An advanced form of sacrificial bolt that boasts greater destructive power at the cost of a pawn's life. Time slows further than before while aiming. Huh, okay, so we'll probably use that. We'll get that at some point. What'll it be then? Now, will you have a look? What'll it be then? What'll it be? Do you have anything for stamina? Is that the sauce? Anything cheaper? Oof, everything's expensive with you, isn't it? 
Just can't spend that much money on sauce, guys, sorry. What is that one? An elixir that makes one believe they've grown wings. Consuming it renders you one rank lighter in terms of mobility. Oh, that is cool. Fallen foes, drop more gold. More experience. Anything we can use? Stilettos, so Steiner, Folk Daggers. They're cute, but... Those bangles are cool. Same with the gloves. Those remind me so much of Bloodborne right there. I'm not gonna spend thirty-four thousand dollars on gloves though. Wouldn't it be now we have no dying? No dying now. Nope, we died twice. And <clears throat> I couldn't find the second one. I went back when I was editing videos, guys, and I couldn't find the second time I died, but I'm, I'm darn sure. <laughs> But I died twice. That your life was ended by falling from too great a height. Huh. Oh. Gosh, that was like the worst way to go down those stairs. Oh, well, that's cool. Lift zone. I don't know, but you let me look. Large coin pouch? Eh, okay. <laughs> Nothing that exciting. But if it's an easy place to get to, it's probably not going to be that cool of an item. <laughs> boom, boom. Blowing it up. No, we can't fall. We'll die, for sure. Oh, parkour. <laughs> so we can go here. There's different ways to go from here. We're going to take this route first. I don't really remember what is this way. I kind of remember what's the other way because I took the other way a lot. Uh, for a reason I'll show you later. Too many possessions can be more a hindrance than a help. She's telling me I'm too heavy. More hindrance than hell. Best we repair that rift stone as soon as we are able. <clears throat> Looks like you might be able to restore it using rift crystals. Oof, man, three thousand five hundred. I guess. I think that means it's important, right? In case I lose my pawns, and we need to upgrade our pawns also. I think. I think. Uh, let's check here. Gore, you're a little under level, although you're cool. Continue our exploration using this stone as a hub. Okay. So does that mean we can transport to this rift stone like a port crystal? Jerry. Jerry. Oh, she's already with me. Helena. 39, she's my level. Mage, Claire. Sorry, Gore, we're getting ready and we're gonna take both pretty plain Jane, both of them. She's got the flower. She's got the queen's outfit and that nice hammer. That queen's outfit yes, is yes. really good. You cannot take on any more followers without releasing. We gotta get rid of our <clears throat> crucible knight here. I am honored. Although he's awesome, we're gonna give him something. It's a really good item we can give him. Wish we could get weapons. That'd be really cool. An armor, but can't. It's all just items. 
don't know if I'm gonna have anything super special for you, son. I'll give you the Chimera Strategy Volume 1. He gets a 5 all across the board. Well worth the effort. May our paths cross again. Cool. Marcus. That's an awesome looking sword you got, Marcus. However, it's time to leave. We've got our pawn. Man, some of these top rank pawns are so expensive. Like 7 million rift crystals or something like that. Six rift something. Mend our wounds. Don't well, allow them to swarm. What are you doing? Shackle? Okay, that's fine. We've got undead up here, eh? Okay. <laughs> Well, good thing we have fire damage. Oh man, that's too early. Well, that one doesn't know what he's doing, whether he's coming or going. All right, let's see. Let's get out of the hallway here. And get to the party. Come on. Man, these guys are tough. There you go. Think and they have a shackle. Didn't somebody pick that shackle up back there? Because we can make. I guess not. We can make keys with shackles, but we'll come back. Leave it to me. This is one of the spots you can run to and get cool items and stuff, but. I need to give some stuff to some people here. Give all our stuff to our main pawn more deep here. Oh, no wonder we're so heavy. Look at all this stuff. He's still super light. It's all those curatives that make us so heavy. Let's just What's keep that? going. Don't know what that was. Let's jump in the water. Oh, look at that skeleton. That's cool. Got impaled. Okay. I don't know if I've been this way yet. Oh God. The hell? I'm coming to help. No way. We're not gonna die right here. Come on. Get him, guys. Get him. Oh my gosh. This is hard. I don't know if we're going to make it out of here. Come on, we almost got it. Almost got it. There we go. Oh my gosh. That was. Whoa. Screw you. At least we can sit back here and just hit him with the bow and arrow. We're not doing any damage to him. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Somebody get him. Somebody work him. Holy cow. That thing was gnarly. Keep working him. We're not done yet. There you go. Not get caught up by him because he will definitely. Oh, what the hell? What's this? That was one of the strongest things I've fought in this game, guys. Right there, that was crazy. So we got those things to look out for. It's like the mimics in the Dark Soul chests. Just gonna make it a pain in the ass. 
Yeah, like what's in this one? We have to do this and roll away. Okay. Rift crystal. What's this? Some sort of mechanism. Some of these shackles on the wall that I pull. Oh, there's a lever on the other side. I see it. Okay. Let's go this way. Hello, Batman. Large nut. Oh, bitter black novelty one. So, what we do is we take those to the lady outside the gate. I the name. Here to see no more death. We just destroyed all those guys. Man, I'm almost out of curative, so we gotta quit messing around. Hey, what are you doing, Lord? Get down there. On my way. Love those eye frames, huh? This guy's dumb as hell. Whoa. Guys, where you guys at? What is Blue Dude doing? Well, he's dying, that's what he's doing. Where? Oh, my pause is gone. Jerry's gone. <gasps> and we just died. Open your I don't have a wake stone. Death number three, and that's a real one, guys. No wake stone. So now we gotta go back to the last time I saved, which was who knows when. Which is one of the downfalls of this game. Let us continue our exploration yes, using Okay, this cool. So it wasn't that far. It was right back here. But something's up. We need to, uh... I think we'll just keep this party for right now, because they were acting weird. Right there. Let's make sure that we have Muad'Di equipped with a weapon. Oh, no. Well, that's part of the problem. He doesn't have a damn weapon he can use. Ugh. God dang it. He's running around not casting any spells because <laughs> he doesn't have a weapon. Ah, uh, shoot. I mean, what, does anybody have a weapon for him? Shoot. Shit, what do we do? I mean, she's got her staff. He's got his stuff. Wait. Oh, I think Blue Deep does have this stuff equipped. I see the equip sign on it. Sorcerer. Yeah, it's... No, it's not for a sorcerer. We can't equip any of it. So he's useless. Oh, and we can't really... I mean, I guess we just gotta kind of push on. I don't really know, guys. Thor and I will take him out. Well, we know about that chest. That chest made a bunch of our healing items. We're gonna just go a little bit further and see if we can find him. Maybe a staff on the way. I mean, that would just be like miraculous, wouldn't it, if we found him? I got worse. I got more experience with killing that guy quickly than I did last time, I think. Maybe I'm just tripping. But, just come with us, Muad Deep. We'll protect you. I can't believe this whole time he has had no weapon. That shows you how burly Jerry is. I mean, she's just whooping stuff by herself. So we're not going to open that chest, right? We figure that out. Hey, Spider. This looks interesting. Focus Lord Tomb. Check that out. It's probably some kind of consumable or some kind of craftable item. I 
A treaty on magic from an author long forgotten, infused with the power of thunder. Okay. I think that gives us thunder. We could be the pack horse then, like we did last time. I just I need to save it after I do this so I don't have to do this again. Okay, that's good enough for right now. Very well. Very well. I can bear to see no more death. Call me Craven to be He can almost one shot us if we get down to around 500 health. I feel like. I feel like that's not a good place to be. Oh wait, why am I just? Here, get up here. We need Jerry. Jerry's our most powerful one. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. He took like almost 500 health away with that. It does like a double strike that's almost an instant kill. It's Come on, we almost got him. No, you can't be thrown around with 700 health here. Jerry's about to get whacked. Get off Jerry. Oh, did you see that? Those nuts don't do anything. And his were 2300 and 400 rift crystals. This looks interesting. This looks interesting. Boy, they. What's this? The lever's right on the other side of this door, or this wall. Too bad I can't break through it. Oh, where is the staff when we run the. Okay, so we need to save the game. Just in case we die, we can come right back here. So we're on three deaths. Let's remember. This is the hardest part of the game, is this whole bitter black section. So I expect to die numerous times here. Our foes are fierce and strong. Best we made a point of treating any wounds immediately. Well, I think that's a brilliant plan. See, without that double jump, you wouldn't be able to get a lot of this sight airing. So I'm guessing that's for blindness. Magical earring and glow with a curious light heightens resistance to blindness. Yeah, of course, what we call that. Pretty self explanatory. A giant undead spotted! A uh -oh. No hope, not dead. <laughs> 
Oh god. Oh, attack quickly! Well, come on, do something, buddy. Yes, you can. There'll be more. Did it. I'm sure this room is huge. Strength in numbers arisen. Oof. Bodies are nasty. Okay, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. We come back and keep exploring some bitter black dial oak leaf oil. Oh, there's a chest right there. The triple tooth. We've had that item a couple of times. Um, give it to Gore as a thank you for helping us. So. We'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll keep playing, exploring Bitter Black Island, see how far we can get in this one. Eventually, we're going to hit a spot where we just can't go any farther. We're going to have to go back to the main quest. Uh, but this is pretty fun for now, and we'll get some really cool items. I'm lucky, and the channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. See you guys later.